If you want to work up a poor Annie routine for whatever judge divorces you, by all means, but don't practice on me. I confided in you. Oh, yeah, sparing Emma a penniless life on the streets? You living in a dive motel? No, Annie, we both know you're more resourceful than that. You know, I lost everything. I had an armed marshal physically escort me out of my own home. <laughs> Since when have you ever let a little thing like a man with a loaded gun scare you, huh? You just took on a mugger. This isn't funny, Scott. I lost my home, and now you've lost all my money. Oh, 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 I lost all your money, huh? Well, I am so glad that you are alive to chew me out. What? Hey, what, what, you're gonna leave me? No, I am... I'm taking you to the ER. You gotta get that ankle looked at. Come on. No. I'm not going to the ER. I'm fine. You need to go... Ah! Whoa! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, 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 let me help you. Go away. Oh. Just leave me here. What, alone here? So that the squirrels can steal the acorns you foraged for dinner? You're a jerk. Then you're a pain in the ass. But that ankle, it's... It needs to be wrapped up, so... Look, there's some bandages at the house, okay? I can't go to the house. What if Adam f finds out okay, that... Adam, Adam, Adam will not find out, all right? I will wrap your ankle, and then you will leave. And just maybe, maybe you will stop yelling at me for letting that mugger get away with your purse. Deal? Deal. What? Whoa! Uh. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, I was kind of surprised you called. I could have just come in a little bit early for my shift. Yeah, well, um... I wanted to meet someplace other than the casino, just in case you, um, you wanted to talk. About what? Is something wrong? I know. About the rooms. That you sneak a key card and you sleep in an empty room. Different room every, every night. I'm sorry. If you want to fire me, I will understand. Yeah, I don't want to fire you. Here. Just until you get back on your feet, uh, a room for you on the house. No, I couldn't. Oh, I want you to. I wouldn't know how to pay back. You just, you know, somebody will do something nice for me. <laughs> or, or better yet, do something for somebody else. We'll be it. How can you be so kind to someone that you barely know? Benson, what is that? What? It's nothing. What? Hey! Who hit you? Who the hell does Erica think she is? So that's it? That's it? It's done? There's no recourse? Erica met with Bahia's attorney and they agreed to nullify your contract with them. Damn it! Look, Greenlee, I am... I'm responsible for this. If I had left that contract on my desk, Erica could never have done this to you. I am so, so sorry. But please, don't, don't you think you should take God, it a little There's got to be something please. that we can do. There's got to be some way out of this. I don't know what it would be, but he's not going to move because they're scared to death that Eric is going to sue them. Well, then you tell them that I'm going to sue them for not honoring the agreement That's they made with me. That's not an option. Your contract was never finalized. Nope. Because Erica stole yes. the document. She interfered in my business. I want her arrested. You can't have her arrested. Well, then I'm going to sue her on the grounds of torturous interference. I will take everything she has. Really, please, 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 just calm down. Please have a seat. I want you to get excited about this. It's not good for you. All this work I've done. Every amazing idea I've had. All of this work. Now it's dead. And again, I'm, I'm so sorry. But it's not so bad for you. Right? I mean, you'll still get to celebrate with Erica. No, no, no. Look, look. Let's... Let's be straight about this, okay? I'm just as upset about this as you. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to let you do
sorry. I know I don't have any right to talk about us getting back together. Not now. Yeah, maybe not ever. I know. But it doesn't mean that I can't hope. Ever since you walked out, all I've done is hope for the day that you walk back in. If it makes a difference at all, my father had Annie evicted. She's gone. For good. It doesn't change what happened. I know it doesn't. Just go to your appointment, okay? Look, look, if the day ever comes and we do get back together, I want it to be because you love me. Because we believe in us and our future. Not because you feel sorry for some sick guy. You think if the cancer is returned that I would just drop everything and come back? I don't want to find out. Do you think that you really might be sick again? Not a clue. And so you'd just rather not know? Pretty much. Well, as long as we're being honest, you hurt me more than I have ever been hurt in my life. And a part of me can't imagine ever getting back together with you, whether you're sick or not. So, not keeping this appointment is selfish and unfair. AJ deserves to have a father who takes care of himself, who makes the effort to stay alive. You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> If you were sick, I don't know what I would do, but if I didn't come back, it, it wouldn't be because I didn't care. God, I didn't come back here to dredge all of this up again. I really just need to see AJ. What the hell are you doing here?